Hello Scam Squad! In this video we're going to look at comparing rational numbers, which means we want to find out which number has less value than the other one. In order to do this we can use a number line. And on a number line, the numbers to the left have less value, and the numbers to the right have greater value. So what we can do is graph both of our numbers to see which one has less value. For the first example, we have the numbers 4 and 1. So let's graph those on the number line. Now that we have them on the number line, we can see that the number 1 is further to the left, which means it has less value. So we want to use those inequality signs to show which number has less value. And the arrow is always going to point to the number with less value. So in this example, the arrow would point to the right since 1 has less value than 4. Example number 2, negative 5 and negative 2. So let's pull up our number line and graph both of these numbers. After graphing, we can see that the negative 5 is further to the left, so the negative 5 will have less value. And the arrow should always point to the number with less value. So the arrow will point to the left. Example number 3. Whoa! What do those bars around the numbers mean? Well, the bars around the numbers mean absolute value. And absolute value is the distance between a number and zero on the number line. For example, on the screen, you can see the absolute value of negative 3. How I would find the absolute value of negative 3 is graph it on a number line and count how many spaces away from zero that number is. And negative 3 is 3 spaces away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 3 will be 3. All right, back to the problem. We want to find the absolute value of positive 2 and find the absolute value of negative 2. So first, let's graph these numbers. We'll start with the negative 2. Negative 2 is 2 spaces away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. If we move on to the positive 2, we can see that the positive 2 is also 2 spaces away from 0. So the absolute value of positive 2 is positive 2. And if we look, both sides will be equal to positive 2. So this one will have an equal sign. All right, on to the final example. We have negative 0.7 and negative 1 half. Let's pull up that number line. You can notice on the number line that I only have decimals. The good news is, is it's pretty simple to convert a fraction to a decimal. In order to convert a fraction to a decimal, all you have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. And 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.5. So negative 1 half as a decimal would be negative 0 0.5. Now since they're both decimals, we can graph them on a number line. Now that they're graphed on the number line, we can see that the negative 0.7 is further to the left. And the arrow should always point to the number with less value. So in this one, our arrow will point to the left, since negative 0.7 is less than negative 0.5. All right, now it's your turn to try. Complete the four problems using the less than, greater than, or equal to sign. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. For number one, six is less than 10. For number two, negative one is greater than negative nine. For number three, the absolute value of 8 is greater than the absolute value of negative 6. And for number 4, 0 0.5 is equal to 1 half. If you had any of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review the video, and see if you can determine your mistake. Thank you for watching.